You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News at 6. Good morning to you. Take a look at this, this big truck. If you see if my voice sounds a little weird, we're inside of this truck all month long. We've been highlighting breast cancer awareness. And this morning, we have San Diego's where we're standing right now, only roving state of the art mammography truck right here in our back lot. And we are getting ready to do a live mammogram. Uh, we have two very special guests this morning. Thank you for being here, Dr. David Klein, radiologist, and also Kara. She is a mom of two. 51 years old from Encinitas. Yes. Good morning. You are 51? I'm 51. You look amazing. Knock on wood. Thank you both Thank of you, you. Uh, for being here. Dr. Klein, I think I've seen this truck before, but for those that have never seen it before, this is a pretty special uh, truck that you, that you have. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, I'd be happy to. This is a state-of-the-art tomosynthesis unit. The unit is actually uh, the only in San Diego County that does three-dimensional in a mobile coach. The patients come on, they do preliminary paperwork, changing room, and get their imaging done in the back, which is uh, a hologic dimensions tomosynthesis unit. Why is this kind of truck so special? I mean, you can get a mammogram really anywhere. Why put it in a truck like this? There are so many women in San Diego County. I think the number is uh, two to three out of five women that do not get mammograms at all. So allowing the coach to go to them where they work, play, and pray is really our goal. We want to bring the service to them so they utilize it. You talk about women not getting mammograms. You're a mother of two. I'm a mother of three. We know how busy our lives get. When was your last mammogram? Two years two years ago. How yes. often should you be getting them? Every year. Okay, same. why haven't you gotten them Procrastination. The kids' checkups are on time, but... Yeah, right? Right. Yeah. I was just mentioning that to somebody. We'll make sure their teeth, they're brushed, but not ours. Right. Because everything is about uh, the kids. So to be able to have access to something like this, what is that like for you? The convenience is, makes all the difference, I think. If it's just right there, I'll walk right in and get it done that day. Is there any fear that's uh, an element of this? Because I know a lot of women, sometimes they just don't want to go because they're scared. What's the process going to be like, and do I really want to know what's right. happening? Right. I have friends that I think feel that it's not my concern. Um, I'm more of a procrastinator, but the, I do know that people do have fear associated with it, you know, just head in the sand, ostrich in the sand, um, not wanting to know, but it's just the wrong approach, you know? So education is the way to get past that. We're going to see um, a mammogram happen right now. So if you're watching right now or you have moms, sisters, aunts, uh, all of us know women, this might be a good process, something for them to watch to see that it's not that scary. No, it's not. It's not that scary. How old do you need to be, doctor, to, to start doing the mammograms? We advocate uh, 40 years old and every year thereafter. Okay. There has been an enormous amount of controversy over the past 15 or so years. Okay. But the... American College of Radiology as well as Society of Breast Imaging says 40 and every year thereafter. Okay. Can we see it happen? Uh, we can go in the unit and okay. show where the unit is. Are we going first? Okay, let's go first. Come with us. We're going to go all the way back here. So this is what a woman would uh, experience. Yes, they would come back over here, change, and then... You know, this is a little scary, doctor. I mean, in all honesty, I've never had a mammogram before. I haven't hit that... Uh, time that eight but i will very soon so you come here and then uh the the lady would then change is that what kara is doing right now she right. is okay so to to look at the machine this is a detector and the radiation source comes from above the breast is placed on the tray mm -hmm. and this is a compression device which allows the breast to be compressed so we actually look down from the top to the bottom of the breast and then go ahead and then after the initial image in that orientation is acquired, the machine rotates, and we get an orthogonal view from a different projection. Okay. Is Kara ready? Yes. Okay. Kara's going to... Does this hurt? Uh, some women feel the pressure and feel it's uncomfortable, but we have very experienced technologists who can do it in a way that minimizes any discomfort. Okay. So um, Kara's all set up. She was able to get into her robe. Where would you like me to stand, doctor? Uh, we'll come back out here. I'm going to come back out here? Okay, we need to come back out here, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and then how long does this, uh, does this take? Um, most times between, you know, five minutes, uh, maybe slightly longer. Uh, in 
women that are harder to position and maybe a little bit longer. Okay, and then it's, again, I think one of the big things that a lot of people talk about and they could be watching right now is just the fear, the fear of doing this. Um, but you're saying not scary, it's important to be able to do this. Right, I mean the actual acquisition they may be fearful of with the pain or pressure. And then they may also have fear about the possible results. <laughs> I love it because Kara's in the back and she's mouthing to me, it's not painful at all. It's not painful. Okay, are we ready to do this? Are we doing this? Yes? Okay, we're ready. Okay, are, are we leaving the door open or am I going? Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Right. No, I think the door, the door is supposed to stay open, yes? Uh, if, whatever you guys have to do. If you feel comfortable with it, if, as long as you're not excited. Kara's fine. She's a, she can't, don't worry, San Diego can't see. Well, we'll make sure that San Diego doesn't see everything. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. It, it will be okay, open. Okay, we're just talking medical terms here to be able to get this uh, going. So, so uh, doctor, take us through and tell us exactly what's happening right now. So this is the first orientation, the CC projection, the craniocaudal view meaning from the top down through the bottom of the breast. And as you can see, for women of different heights, the machine goes up and down in order to accommodate uh, a patient's body habitus. And then are you able to see things right away? Like what happens with the results once they're able to get the imaging? The images are required, um, at least four pictures. The pictures are then loaded onto a laptop and because it takes a special monitor to read them, we cannot read them on the coach. We have to upload them into a special computer program uh, and computer system in order to read the images. Okay, before I let you go, I know too, um, for those that are watching so that they have the information, this truck all over San Diego. Correct, we've had events throughout its first year of deployment throughout San Diego County and during the month of October, I think we were uh, booked almost, if not every day, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This truck, by the way, friends at home, if you're watching, heading up to Oceanside uh, after this today, offering free mammograms. It's going to be at a Rouse parking lot uh, from 9 to 4, 9 in the morning until 4 o'clock today. So if you know anybody that wants to take advantage of this, uh, today is the day to do it. We do have the address and we're going to put a full schedule. It's on our Cena on our Fox 5 phone app so you can get it right on your phone. You don't have to go to the website anymore. So we're going to continue to do this. Coming up in our next hour, uh, friends, we're going to be talking about what to expect after getting the mammogram as well as this awesome challenge. It's happening here in San Diego for you to take charge of your health. We're going to send it back to you. Fox.